University lecturer Jimmy Spire Sentongo has been counting down his days and preparing to leave institutional quarantine today. However, with the new guidelines from the health ministry, this will not be possible. But uh, the worst thing on our side is that in the process of gambling with things of uh, uh, not being fully prepared, we are trying to load it onto another group of people, an innocent group of people, people who have been um, uh, ready to work together with government to see that the quarantining process is better. We have people that have tested positive within the facilities where these people have been. And we want to be sure that we are not releasing people that have been in the same facilities, especially if they have had any form of contact with these people. And they will be supported to ensure that they are able to cope and go through um, this period. And this will be done whether they have symptoms or not. Currently, Uganda has 44 confirmed cases of COVID-19. And according to data from the health ministry, 2,661 travelers had been identified for either self or institutional quarantine since January this year. 1,015 high-risk travelers are currently under institutional quarantine, including those from the United Arab Emirates who responded to the Ministry of Health call to report to Mulago for assessment. A total of 660 contacts to the 33 confirmed cases have been listed and are being followed up. Every day, an average of 220 tests are done at the Uganda Virus Research Institute. The director there, Professor Pontiano Kalebu, says the challenge now is a shortage of some lab materials. Under the lockdown, procurement becomes a challenge. So, so uh, reagents take uh, uh, some time to, to come, and that is the worries we have. Dr. Cheng said the ministry is receiving support from other agencies and is also hiring a number of health workers to meet the existing gap caused by the pandemic. Ministry of Health is recruiting 220 health workers of different categories to support the response. In addition, 82 UPDF medical personnel of different categories are supporting the response in various fields of case management, surveillance, logistics, etc. There were no positive cases from 63 samples tested on Wednesday and all the cases in hospital are in stable condition. Walter Mwesije, NTV.